So for the yarn, I will be using 5 ply cotton yarn in these 4 colors. For the hook, I will be using 3.5mm crochet hook, but you can use any kinds of yarn with this appropriate hook. For the bear, you will also need like these kinds of eyes, which are 8mm size eyes, and this silicone glue to stick the eyes on the pouch. And lastly, you will also need scissors, a needle, and some buttons. Now grab a card to measure the size of the wallet and now let's start the tutorial. First, we are going to make a slip knot. So rub the yarn around your two fingers like this. And pull this yarn like this and you will get a loop. Insert your hook into this and adjust the size of the loop. And then let's start round one. Yarn over and pull through the loop and you make one chain in total you will have to make 18 chains so repeat making like this and over and pull through and you make one chain repeat this until you got 18 chains in total or you can chain as long as you want but this length must be the same as the card's length you can measure the length like this now I'm I'm fine with 18 chains, so now I'm going to move to another step. Before moving that, chain one more. And now skip the first chain and insert your hook into the second one. Then pull the yarn like this. And pull through the chain and now you got two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through those two loops and you made one single crochet. Put a stitch marker on that stitch in case if you don't remember the starting point. Now repeat making single crochet in each and every chain until you reach the last one. So just repeat making single crochet in each and every chain like this. So now I'm at the last stitch and in this last chain you will have to make 3 single crochets together. Insert your hook into the last stitch and make 1 single crochet and then make the second one again in the same stitch and also the third one. Now half of round 1 is finished. and. These are the other sides of the chains and now we will continue making single crochets on them. So now insert your hook like this because this is the other side of the chain and make one single crochet. If you don't want to weave in the ends, put the tail like this and single crochet it together like this. So please continue making single crochets until you reach the last stitch again. Now I'm at the start where I put a stitch marker and this is the last stitch. And in this last stitch, please make two single crochets together. So here I will insert my hook again and I will make the second stitch. And now round one is finished. Remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch into that stitch. So insert your hook and make a slip stitch and now we can move on to round two. To start round two, make two chains first. One and two. And for round two, please make one double crochet in each and every stitch. So to make a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, pull the yarn, now you got three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the first two loops. And yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And now you made one double crochet. 
For round two, you will just have to make one double crochet in each and every stitch until you reach the start. You will get like this after making double crochet in each and every stitch. Then please fold the two rounds like this and this will be in the shape of the wallet. And now to end this round, please skip this last stitch and find the second chain of chain 2. We will make a slip stitch in that chain. So here this is the second chain of chain 2. So make a slip stitch into that stitch. And now round 2 is finished. To start round 3, make 2 chains first. And if you want to measure the size of your wallet, you can put your card like this. And you can see that it fits perfectly, so I will continue making the wallet. After 2 chains, make double crochet in each and every stitch like you did in round 2. And when you reach the start, you will have to make a slip stitch into the second chain of chain 2. Now I'm at the start of round 3. So to finish this, skip this last stitch and find the second chain of chain 2 and make a slip stitch. Also for round 4, 5, 6, and 7, you will just have to repeat this round which is making 2 single crochet, uh, two chains in the beginning and making double crochet in each and every stitch. And when you reach the start, don't forget to make a slip stitch. Please repeat this round until round 7 or according to the width of your card. For me, I just repeated this round for seven rounds in total this is what it looks like after making round seven and now let's move on to round eight and in this round we will be making the ears for the bear or the eyes for the frog in this round we will walk in only front loop only stitches so insert your hook in the front loop of the stitch like this i will show you again we normally insert our hook like this, but for this round, insert your hook in the front loop of the stitch. And then, according to the pattern, make a slip stitch. Again, insert your hook into the front loop and make a slip stitch. Please make front loop only slip stitches for 4 times in total. Now I'm making the third one. And one more slip stitch now let's start making the ear or the eye skip one stitch and then make eight double crochets together in the next front loop so in this next front loop we will make eight double crochets together After making 8 double crochets, you will get like this. And then skip one stitch. Here, skip this stitch and make front loop only slip stitches for 6 times. After making 6 slip stitches, skip 1 stitch and again make 8 double crochets in the next front loop and this will be the second ear or the eye.
Now the second ear is finished. Lastly, skip one stitch and make four slip stitches. And those slip stitches will be front loop only slip stitches. Now the ears or the eyes are finished and there's only one last step left and that is to add the cover like this for the wallet and now let's make that insert your hook into the loop again this time chain 2 and turn your walk and we'll make double crochets in each and every stitch but those stitches would be the back loop the back loops of round 7 so here these these stitches so what you have to do is yarn over insert your hook into that back loop and then make a double crochet so just repeat making double crochets in each and every back loop until you reach the folded part Now I'm at the folded part and I will stop making this row. Let's move on to the next row, chain 2 and turn your walk. And again, continue making double crochets until you reach the middle. So when you reach the middle stitch, we will make a hole for the button. So now I stopped before I reached the middle stitch and let's make the button hole. If you want to check if you're at the middle or not, you can just check like this. And now let's make the button hole. So to make that, make two chains, then skip the middle stitch and repeat making double crochets until you reach the last stitch. Now you got a hole and this will be for the button and to finish this wallet continue making double crochets until you reach the last stitch. Now we finished making double crochets so chain one and cut the yarn. Don't forget to weave in the ends. Use your crochet hook and hide the tail like this. Now the base of the wallet is finished. So let's move on to making the face details. Now let's make the blush and the white part of the eye. First, we're gonna make a magic ring. So this is how you wrap the yarn around the two fingers. Then insert your hook and grab the second one to the front and twist it. Then make two chains. One. Remove the ring from your fingers and make another chain. Now make double crochets into the magic ring like this. And you will have to make a total of 12 double crochets into the magic ring. After making 12 double crochets, pull the tail and the ring will be closed. Now find the second chain of chain 2 and make a slip stitch. Now chain 1 and fasten off. And also hide the tails on the wrong side of the blush. 
Please make two in total and also for the white part of the eyes, just repeat the same pattern of the blush. Now I will show you how to make the black part of the eyes but I will use pink yarn so you will be able to see the stitches. Like the blush, make the magic ring first. After making the magic ring, make two chains and then into the magic ring we will make half double crochets. So to make the half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, pull the yarn, then yarn over and pull through all three loops and you made one half double crochet. For this you will have to make a total of 10 half double crochets into the magic ring. After making 10 half double crochets, pull the till and the ring will be closed. Now to finish this, make a slip stitch into the second chain of chain 2. Then chain 1 and fasten off and hide the tails on the round side of this piece. After making the face details, just use the glue and stick them on the wallet like this. Now grab your black thread and a brighter a smile for the frog. If you want to watch this sewing part precisely, please slow down the video speed in the setting. After embroidering, don't forget to hide the two tails inside the wallet. This is how I sew the button on the wallet. Actually, I just used my crochet hook and I just tied the two tails together inside the wallet and then I hide them inside the bag and it's done. So now the tutorial is finished. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button so I can upload more in the future. And also don't forget to follow me on social media. And with that being said, see you all in my next video. Bye bye.